coffee, chocolate, and uh, soon to be 1 a.m. middle of the night. And holy shit, it's been way too long since I put out the last film. Okay, in this film I wanted to talk about the importance of hanging out with like-minded people. Is that you? It's me. Is that you, Jorgen? Yeah, but you need to film uh, right here. Oh, you've been unlucky today? Yeah, indeed. Ich bin Jonne. If you are new to my channel, let me let me just give you a quick introduction again to what this channel about is about and what I what I talk about. And um, I talk about self mastery. And in my concept of self mastery, I really. You know, I, I pretty much talk to, to the people that are about to wake up and do not fit into society's norms anymore. So if you're one of those that struggle with either, uh, you know, bad education and or a shitty job and or it could be, you know, valuable to you to, um, to maybe subscribe to my channel. Because what I'm doing is to show people that there are better methods to make a living. There are better methods to educate yourself and I'm all about expanding your mind so that you can figure life out in a totally different way and be independent of the system. What I do, you know, I, I'm, I keep pretty much to, to my, you know, small group of people and um, it feels better. You know, at times when you start to wake up and you see that the, real, the reality is not really what you thought it was or what you've been taught in school or by your parents, uh, it can, you can start to kind of move into a state of loneliness because you are starting to, to see things differently which peop the pe people around you do not really see. They don't, they don't really get it yet. So, so that can be an effect of actually waking up and starting to educate yourself um, you know, and get closer to kind of a self-mastery state of mind, if you want to call it that. So, so it's getting more and more important to hang out with like-minded people. For example, I am Jürgen, one of my buddies from our capital city in Norway, from Oslo. He's one of my training buddies um, that I have spent years with in Taekwondo practice. Is that you? Me. Is that you, Jürgen? Yeah, I'm uh, right here. Sometimes he come to visit and we spend some time talking about, you know, philosophy, deeper things. We do some, you know, training, we do some yoga based practice, meditation in the evenings and we try to connect with nature. So we also had Andy join us one day. We went out just to uh, set up my hammock and uh, yeah, we shot some scenes with Andy uh, doing some Qigong. And uh, it's really good to, you know, simply just spend time sometimes with um, someone on your own. You know, you feel that they are the same level as you. We're hanging out on, outside, you know, talking about martial arts, having some coffee, uh, food, you know, the impact of food, state of mind, um, manifesting our lives, you know, meditation. So uh, it's like, um, it's like becoming a mastermind group.
when your reality changes, when your state of mind changes, um, you should decide or consider at least to try to begin to filter your network of closest friends and family. Because I, I know too many people that simply just, by daily habit, hang out with the wrong people. So they get too, too, too much mindfuck going on because they listen to the same crap every day. They just hang out with the same friends that don't really have a goal in life. They're too negatively focused. Uh, they struggle with some things, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But it doesn't mean that you have to keep everybody on your lap all the time. So um, I would, in a kind of in a gradual way, try to transition people out of your life in a gentle, nice, smooth way so that you can focus on yourself, your inner reality, because you have to change your inner self before you can experience another reality in the world around you. <clears throat> Saturday, I've been in town, my, one of my regular coffee shops. Trying to do some work and be productive, but I won't deny that it's just I'm sometimes just fucking hard to be around people and be productive and have a good energy. And sometimes it just helps to get out, so it's uh, I don't know, hard to find a balance sometimes. <laughs> guys well uh, we are out playing in the woods the thing is that I bought myself what do you call it a hammock hammock yeah it's a McKinsey thing yeah yeah this is this is good I think I would suggest for you to try to uh, attract that into your life create some kind of a mastermind group of like-minded people it going, it's going to boost your life uh, in a much greater way. I also spent time with my cousin this summer. We have a way of, you know, sometimes just take kind of a road trip out in, you know, the south part of Norway here to look at some beautiful places, listen to music and have coffee and get some food. Um, so I've really seen some nice places this summer. And it leaves me with a huge impact on my body and mind because it soothes my Overall energy uh, it has a grounding effect and I like to just manifest my life in a way so that I can attract beautiful places.
So we just took um, we just took a break by a river. Yeah, we went on kind of a road trip with the with my uh, cousin up to a pretty famous place in Norway. I think we're still got one, I don't know, an hour now, 30 minutes left of our drive up to a place called Rukan in Norway. They got this old um, factory complex that's pretty famous from the Second World War. really good to you know simply just spend time sometimes with um, someone on your own you know you feel that they are the same level as you you can really talk openly about you know deeper stuff I think I would suggest for you to try to uh, attract that into your life create some kind of a mastermind group of like-minded people it going it's going to boost your life uh, in a much greater way so this is why I wanted to talk about that because if you do that it could be just one friend, right? All it takes sometimes is just to have one friend. Um, if you are in kind of in a segment of your life now, if you're lonely, you could take one friend that can guide you in the right direction or motivate you to do the right changes, do the right choices for yourself in your life. So 